Hey guys, what's up? It's the third night here, um, and I'm bringing you a new series called The Road to Armadale's Staff. In this series, I'll aim to collect 100 Armadale Shards and turn them into an Armadale Battle Staff. For those of you who don't already know, Armadale Shards are dropped by Glacors, a monster that you can fight once the Ritual of the Marjorat quest is complete. I will be recording all the kills and drops along the way through my Carnage Report, which you should be able to see on screen now, and keeping all the loot until the end for a final price check, so hopefully there will be some bank made by then. The only drops I'm not recording are ones that are super rare, like herb drops and worth barely anything, so I decided it wasn't worth putting on the Carnage Report, as well as air, blood and death runes, because it will be too difficult to tell how many of them I've picked up, considering I already have the runes for Fire Surge in my inventory. There are no rules for this series, I can use whatever gear I want, uh, go for however long, how many kills I want during a trip, all that sort of stuff, use whatever familiars. Um, so I'm going to get started on episode 1, I really hope you all enjoy the series as much as I do, and I will see you then. Hey guys, what's up, and here is finally my Road to Armadale's Staff episode 1 um, footage. Uh, basically, I ended up doing 4 trips to Glacors and um, I'll wait till the end to tell you how many kills I got and all that sort of thing but I've been using uh, Void and um, I'm you know I didn't really look into massively what what the best um, sort of setup is for Glacors but you know I usually have used Void in the past and I find it fairly good for Glacor kills um, I just have my mage gear my fire surge and um, some melee gear which I switch into for the uh, minions or I guess that's what you might call them, like the unstop sapping, the sapping, um, Glacor thingy, the, what's the other one, enduring, and the unstoppable, I'm not really sure, I, I can't even remember the names, that's how bad I am, now. um, but yeah, basically I just use a void setup with my Chaotix, works fairly well, um, I like to use a void deflector with my mage, uh, instead of, like, a, I don't know, like an arcane or like one of the, like a Farseer, chaotic Farseer shield thingy, um, just because you get ma more mage bonus that way, because you can wear an Aram's robe top. Um, I don't really bring any food or Sarabrews either, I just rely on my unicorn and my en enhanced Excalibur, but usually I don't even have to use them, usually I can just soul split. Um, it really depends how much I'm concentrating. Uh, when you're doing a lot of Glacor kills and stuff over and over again, it can get fairly tiring. And um, well, not even, I don't know if tiring is the best word, but you you know you sort of zone out sometimes, or you might be like reading something at the same time or whatever, because literally like you just get so used to it. And I've done a lot of tormented demons as well. Anyway, oh, on screen right now, I'm about to die. You already watched this. That is just me absolutely failing. Um, I'm like, hey. It's a good idea, I'll just, you know, read read this on my other monitor while I go kill Glacors, and one of my friggin, one of the minion things, which is what I'm just going to refer to them as, uh, until I actually look up their name properly, um, ran back to the actual Glacor, so I had to go back around from, like, my safe spot and attack it, and I didn't change my prayer, so that was a massive fail. Had to get my enhanced Scalibur and everything back, which was a bit of a pain, but it's... It's nothing like losing like a chaotic or like void or whatever, but you know, I don't think there'll be any chance of that unless I managed to disconnect after I died, which would kind of suck because there was a lot of stuff on my grave. I didn't even remember to keep my um, Aram's robe top, so I had to go repair that as well, which was really stupid of me, but oh well. Anyway, so it was a fun trip this week, fun four trips. Um, what was I talking about before? Oh, yeah, my setup. Uh, I see a lot of other people with their own types of setup and everything at Glacors, and personally I think mine's fine. Um, Steel Titan would be really handy, but you know, I don't have 99 summoning, but when I do get 99 summoning, obviously uh, that'll be really useful, but I think I'll have finished this series before then. Um, but yeah, I'm fairly happy with what I use. Um, it's fairly quick kills, uh, I bring overloads, usually my trips last for about 35 to 40 minutes just because I sort of go in for the fastest sort of kills and then I can just go back and bank straight away because Glacors are really, really easy to get to. You just use the fairy ring and so you can bank quite easily for that, um, which is awesome. So yeah, usually it's like a 35, 40 minute, uh, oh yeah, and usually I get 
probably about between, I don't know, at least 18 to probably about 22 Glacor kills within that time. So that's pretty good. I Usually I think 30 to 40 kills an hour would be um, a decent amount of Glacor kills. And I should be able to hit that mark if I was concentrating properly and if I brought like flasks and stuff to last a proper hour. So I think I've got fairly good kill rates. Um, yeah, so ideally I get a shard of Armadale every 10 Glacor kills. Um, but it was really strange. I got no shards on my third trip. Um, I think it was, but yeah, my third trip. Um, and I think I got one or two, yeah. I got three on my first and second trip, and then I got three on my final trip. So um, I actually did a total of 77 Glacor kills, so that should really be about seven shards, um, almost eight shards. So when I go back as a Dragon Mace, first Dragon Mace of the series, um, I should be getting another Armadale shard fairly quickly if we're going by that average. Anyway, here is the episode total. It's just going to be the same as the series total because obviously this is the first episode. There's all the loots and everything. Hopefully you have fun reading that. It's going to be pretty sweet to price check it all at the end. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit under par with the shard count. Um, but hopefully I get a lot more in the future. I've got a lot of blue charms from this. So that is absolutely awesome. That will help my summoning so much. And, you know, there's a lot of other drops that are coming up along the way as well. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of episode one of my... Um, Road to Armadale's staff. It's been pretty damn fun, and um, I've ho hopefully I'll get like a boot drop or something soon because that would really be awesome for my bank. Except I haven't actually killed like a huge amount of Glacors, so I shouldn't really be expecting that uh, right away. Anyway, I'll see you next week for the next episode, episode two of the Road to Armadale's staff. I really hope you enjoyed the first episode, and I'll see you next.